to witness another Easter. To disgrace the devil further in your life. If Jesus did not rise, we won't be here. And this is the beginning of the new month. I'd like us to lift up our voice and say, Father, I thank you for today. Thank you for Easter celebration. Thank you for your resurrection power. Lift up your voice and celebrate God. I thank you. I thank you. Jesus, I thank you. Lord, I thank you. I give you all the praise. For giving your life for me. Thank you for taking my place. And paying the price for me. I give you glory. Nabalaro, Shiketoza, Lambarian de Blerish. I give you all the praise. I give you all the glory. I'm alive today because you gave up your life for me. I thank you. I thank you. Blessed be your holy name. It is my new dawn era. My new dawn of blessing. New dawn of progress. New dawn of wonders. New dawn of laughter. I give you all the glory. Thank you for what you have done. Blessed be your holy name. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Whatever has been withheld from you in life, as we celebrate resurrection today, there will be recovery for you. Yeah. If you are saying amen, say it with confidence. Yeah. Any power saying no to you, they will be disgraced today. Yeah. And whatever has been buried concerning you, concerning your family, by resurrection power, there will be an open door. Yeah. If the grave could not keep him back, no force will keep you where they want you to be. Yeah. If you are saying amen, say better amen. amen. If you are saying amen, say better amen. amen. Any power that is angry with your glory, they will be disappointed by the power of God. So shall it be. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Amen. If you are saying amen, say better. Amen. amen. It is my new dawn era. What eyes have not seen, what ears have not heard, shall be the order of the day in my life. Congratulations. Amen. Put those hands together for the Lord. And please get seated. God bless you. Praise God. The Easter Youth Camp meeting has been exciting, fulfilling, impactful. And you see that brother just came, he said, I'm coming back next year with my wife. Oh boy. If you are not seeing where, come, let me touch your eye. In Jesus' name. Do you know that some of them is fear? If fear is doing you, after first service, just follow me. <laughs> Let me cast out that fear. In Jesus' name. Amen. I'm not joking, no. Some of them is fear. Yeah. 
But this year, you will be celebrated. Amen. If you are saying amen, say better. Amen. amen. Someone is saying, nobody has ever talked to me. Don't worry. After this service, angels will move somebody to come and talk to you. I say, angels will move your husband to come and talk to you. Amen. If you are saying amen, say better. Amen. amen. This service will be taking the first shot on the significance of resurrection. Resurrection is the celebration of God's unconditional love. God's unconditional love. In that drama that was displayed just now, the accuser appeared. Now hear me. It has always been the pattern. Anytime anything good wants to take place, the accuser will always show up. Some people's favor has been aborted because they give in to the accuser. You don't need to give in to the accuser. Thank God for Jesus. Naturally, the only thing people see around you is your fault. But Jesus said, have you seen this one before? He couldn't remember. No wonder Paul said, if they had known, they wouldn't have crucified the Lord of glory. Why? They never knew that there was a day called resurrection. I want to let you know that this day marks not just a turning point in your life. The love of God will erase every accusation of the wicked in your life. God loves you. He loves me to a fault. No one that scripture says, while we were yet sinners, Jesus died for us. While we were yet sinners, Jesus died for us. This love is so unconditional for mankind. When man fell, in the Garden of Eden, Genesis chapter 2, reading from verse 15 down to 18. It looks as if that was the end. But that judgment did not end there. God also prescribed a solution. And the solution was that Jesus would go to the cross to redeem man. Redeem glory. Redeem image. Redeem destiny. The totality of God's plan and purpose was redeemed on the cross. So we're going to take a look at three major significance of resurrection. Number one, God always has the final say. Say with me, God has the final say. The devil may make a move as he has always been doing against your life. To the point that you are frustrated to the point that some have even given up hope. But God has the final say. So it doesn't matter what is happening around you now. Jesus came for a good mission. A good one. 
But the devil used the man, just as he's using human beings against you now, to fight you on all fronts. Making it look as if you will never achieve what you desire or see the reality of the promise of God's blessing. It has been there before, so it's not a surprise. But as long as you remain connected, as long as you remain connected, as long as you stay connected, God will always show up. Now, it's so amazing that God even told them that on the third day he will arise. That's why some of your good dreams, some of your expectations that you have shared with people, some of the people you are sharing your expectation to, they are winch. They are devils. Some people are devils. Let, let them not just hear that something good want to take place. Something good want to take place around you now. They will position people that will fight it. I'm not talking of what happened in the Bible. I'm talking of what happened now. Now, what is happening? So, he said, I will arise on the third day. So, after he was nailed on the cross, buried, they brought a report. Commandant, this man saying, go rise on the third day. So, let's make sure that that thing doesn't work. Any person that has ganged up to say, let's make sure that it doesn't work. Hear me? The same way God disappointed the counsel of men, God will put all your enemies to shame. Amen. To make matter worse. To make matter worse. They went and hired PWD. Julius Beggar. Set Rako to carry all the big, big boulders for them. The boulders were not gentle one. No. I hope you know boulder, big pass boulder. They were heaping them upon the grave. Heaping them upon the grave. So they heaped the boulders. Now, these boulders are not the one you just push. <laughs> but don't forget, God said, my counsel shall stand. And I will do all of my good pleasure. My counsel shall stand. Now, resurrection has been programmed. I want to let you know your change of level has been programmed. That's why scripture says, surely there is an end. And thy expectation shall not. Resurrection was programmed. So, as it was the set time. The angels, they didn't make noise. They were just using finger. Say with me, finger. When God says a thing, scripture say he watches over his word to perform it. He will give your enemies the opportunity to display. Say with me, display. display. So whatever any man is doing around you now is a display of foolishness. It's a display of mumulity. Scripture said, if they had known, they wouldn't have crucified the Lord of glory. It was not in their expectation that he will rise, considering all the things they have done. You hear me? I give you an assurance this morning. No matter what has been done against you, you will still become what God has prepared for you. If you are saying amen, say better amen. Now let, let, let it sink in your spirit 
whatever they are doing against you is only helping and fast forwarding the plan. Do you know why? <laughs> for we know that all things work together for good to them that love God and are called according to his purpose. For we know, for we know, please know it, that resurrection will answer in your matter. Amen. Resurrection will answer in your family. Amen. If you are saying amen, say better amen. amen. They never knew. They have not seen that kind of earthquake before. They have not seen that kind of blasting that took place. Now, how could it be that they are rolling away those boulders and the soldiers were still sleeping? Is it possible? No, 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 answer me. Which kind of sleep be that? Did they take volume 10? No, answer me. Which kind of sleep is that one? Hear me? On the day of your change of story, God will give your enemies deep sleep. God will give your enemies deep sleep. Hakan Debu is just like him. Um, now, this is your house, and they are moving heavy stones. It, no matter how the sleep is doing you, it will shake you. You say, Ah, what's happening? Is the world coming to an end? They were moving heavy boulders. And they were still sleeping. They slept till daybreak. You hear me? As your change of story is starting today, the God that raised Jesus from the dead give your enemies a deep sleep. If you are saying a message, better amen. That's not a normal sleep. The life of Joseph was marked with hatred, bitterness, unfounded jealousy, and all form of household wickedness. But all they did was to help bring his dream to fulfillment. So whoever is working against you now, craftily, cunningly, openly, is helping you. You are helping me. Say, say to yourself, they are helping me. Yeah. He only announced his dreams to them. Who are you to rule over us? This dreamer has come again. So what they started doing, they started plotting scheming. Let's do away with this dreamer. Let's do away with this dreamer. That was where Ruben's problem started. He couldn't take a stand. So, okay. You bush should go ahead with your plan, but don't kill him. So they threw him into the pit. They thought that that was the end. They said, no. If we leave him here, Let's bring him out and sell him. Some people around you, they are a sellout. Please watch the people around you. They are a sellout. They sold him. They didn't know. There's one book written by John Maxwell, Failing Forward. Please read that book. They didn't know that selling him was helping him. It was going, little by little, it was going. From being sold as a slave, he entered prison. Which can Wahala be this? They call it from fry pan to fire. Am I correct? At the prison, there was a connecting line. He met the buckler. So the grace upon his life started manifesting interpretation of dreams. And after he interpreted the dream, he said, when you go, remember me. Just like the, the thief by the side of Jesus, he said, 
when you get to your paradise, remember me. He said, I won't remember you there now. I'm, start, I'm started remembering you here now. You will be with me in paradise. So finally, finally, when famine landed in Israel, everybody needed to go to Egypt to buy food. And he saw them. He gave them the first one. Make sure that he put something inside that will make them come back. So when they came back, he would tell one. He said, where's your father? Where's your mother? He said, okay, you go and bring why this one stay. So when they finally came, he said, you remember me? You remember me? I'm that Joseph. Some of the people you are fighting now, you will meet them again. Huh? You remember me? Some of the people you are hurting now, you will need them tomorrow. You remember me? I'm that Joseph. Hey, alarm don't blow. Now, if someone asks you, you remember me, and he now tells you his name, it's like the earth should open and you enter inside. Through of us. Because all they did to rubbish him, to make his dream fail, they only succeeded in helping him actualize his dream. I want to say to you, your enemies are helping you. Yeah. Your enemies are helping to fast forward your dream. He yeah. said, I am that Joseph which you sold. You meant it for evil, but God turned it around for our deliverance. I want to let you know God has the final say in your matter. You don't have a close case. Tell your neighbor you don't have a close case. So man's opinion is not equal to divine decision. Thank God for all the mouths that are wagging. Thank God for all the rubbish they are saying. Man's opinion is not equal to divine decision. If man's opinion is equal to divine decision, you are finished. But God has the final say. So what the enemy is doing to you is not final. The enemy made sure that their plans of resurrection never takes place. But God took charge. Angels took charge. <laughs> it was not a fight. It was programmed. I want to let you know you are programmed for blessings. You are programmed for unending liftings. You are programmed for unending change of levels. The program was fixed and the time was set. When the time was set and the time was come, angels appeared. We came to confirm. They excel in strength and they bring to binding the word of the Lord. I want to say to you, whatever any man has been saying to undo you, their counsel will fail. Yeah. Their counsel will be disappointed. Yeah. Their counsel will be disgraced. Yeah. Say to your neighbor, God has the final say in my life. God has the final say. God has the final say. Please get it registered in your spirit. God has the final say. Number two. The devil fights where he perceives purpose and destiny. Anywhere he perceives purpose, anywhere he senses a major star is about to rise, he sets up a fight. Anywhere he sees a man fully loaded, a woman fully loaded, in pursuit of God's plan and purpose, he gives a fight. Hannah 
that was resisted by the devil because a major prophet was to arise called Samuel. But Samuel still came. Let it sink into your spirit. The devil does not fight ordinary people. Because you know that those ones, they are, no, they are not a serious case to him. The devil started fighting Jesus from the womb. He started fighting him from the womb. When he had that a star is to be born in Nazareth. You say, which star? And he shall be king over Israel. He say, for what? King care. He say, apart from me, there is no other king. And so what they did was to organize enchanters. Come, come, come. I had a star is to be born and he's going to become king. See, which king are they talking about? He said, okay, you go make a search and let me know. It was trouble. After the bat, it was still trouble. So, to enable him to fulfill his plan, he passed out a decree. Maybe they just said that uh, all the children below two years, they don't catch disease. Made them kill all of them so that they don't go transfer the disease. He started slaughtering. But before the slaughter took place, an angel appeared. Take this child and the mother to Egypt. Until when I will tell you to come back. Herod thought his plan has been fulfilled. He says, See you, the star don't appear. It's okay. Let the wise men go. Now, hear me. What they call the wise men, we are not wise men. They were enchanters, they were stargazers, they are witchcraft principals, people that go and collect stars. Are you hearing what I'm saying now? I remember a naming ceremony that took place sometime, some years back. A little boy was born. That boy was a star. So the people that came for the naming were witchcraft. Are you hearing what I'm saying now? So as they came now, as the boy, they said, hey, this baby fine, oh. Hey, this baby fine too much, oh. As they were rubbing the head, they were collecting the star. Seven stars, they collected all of them. Whoever has collected your star, God will kill them today. They collected all of the boy stars and left him empty. Left him empty. So what they did, they actually got to where the star was. But when they saw what was around the star, is not what they could collect. It's not what they could collect. That was why they said they bowed and worshipped. It's not what they could collect. If they could have collected it, they would have done it. It took the grace of God for that little boy to be recovered. You have plenty stars, though. So anyone the enemy thought he has collected... And more than 1,000 is coming back. Yeah. If you are saying amen, say better amen. amen. But what was the enemy doing? He was making sure that the mission, <laughs> scripture say, he shall save his people from their sins. He wanted to make sure that that purpose was aborted. But scripture said in Psalm 14, I mean in Isaiah 14 and verse 24, scripture, uh, studio put that scripture, Isaiah 14 and verse 24, Isaiah 14 and verse 24. The Lord of hosts has sworn, saying, Surely as I have taught, so shall it come to pass. As I have proposed, so shall it stand. Verse 27 now. 27. For the Lord of hosts has proposed, and who shall disannul it? His hand is stretched out, and who shall turn it back? Hear me? By resurrection power. Every purpose and counsel of God for your life, they shall come to pass. Amen. Say that amen with conviction. Amen. Every purpose and counsel of God for your life shall come to pass. Amen. 
Whoever is angry with the purpose of God for your life shall be disgraced. He said, my counsel shall stand and I will do all of my good pleasure. So hear this again. You must make up your mind not to shift your ground. You must hold on to God. God's word is not only final in your life. His counsel is sure. His counsel is sure. His counsel is sure. They fought the purpose of Jesus. Hear me? They will still fight your purpose. But the more they fight it, the more they will fail. Amen. If you are saying amen, say better amen. amen. Scripture says, take cancer together and be broken in pieces. He said, diverse a strategy, it shall not stand. For God is with us. They will be taking cancer. Let's frustrate his purpose. No! The more they try, the more they fail. Amen. The more they try, the more they fail. The more they try, the more they fail. So, don't just sit down and say, I've lost my purpose. It's a lie. Nobody will lose his purpose until eternity. Are you hearing what I'm saying now? You can't lose your purpose. Even Jesus said, the thief cometh to steal, to kill, and to destroy. But he said, I am come that you might have life and have it more abundantly. Whatever you have lost, you are getting it back. If you are saying amen, say it better, amen. amen. I say, whatever you have lost, you are getting it back. Amen. Number three, significance of resurrection. What men call an end is the beginning point with God. You have had that word. We don't finish up. Finish what? You can't finish me. Rather, you are finishing yourself. Let me say this. Anytime, anytime, in case you forget anything that I've said today, don't forget this one. Anytime any man or woman is fighting you and fighting your purpose, they are killing their own and making sure that their own will not resurrect. I learned something from one of my mentors, Pastor Komaya, as we went for Mama's birthday. He said, if David had made the mistake of killing Saul, he will never become King David. He will end up becoming King Saul too. Do you know the meaning? When you are fighting somebody, speaking against him, the highest you can ever be is his weakness. You can never become his strength. And he said unto me, and um, Pastor Agi, and uh, one Pastor Victor that was there that day, he said, don't fight any man's purpose. He said, the more you fight any man's purpose, you are bearing your own purpose. He said, your own purpose will never resurrect. Even if you have a good one. He said, don't fight any man's purpose. Don't fight any man. Never you take side to speak against any anointing. Never you take side to speak against any grace. If not your own, we never resurrect. They say we are finishing. <laughs> Have you forgotten? He's called the ancient of days. <laughs> Have you forgotten? He's called the alpha and the omega. The only one that has no beginning. The only one that begin even before the beginning began. This God is awesome. They say we have finished him. Hear me? When men think that you have come to your end, that's when God is about to start. God is about to start. I want to say to someone here, and I just had this. God said I should tell you, I'm about to start something unique in your life. If you are that person, you will say better. Amen. Amen. So man extremity to undo you is God's opportunity to refine you. To repackage you. To reposition you. That's why, hear me, 
in church we have many dead dreams do you know what made their dreams dead not witches and wizard because they have received grace to fight other people the more you fight them the more your own die continue but there is recovery for you this morning no? that's if you are willing to repent Man's extremity is God's opportunity. So when you are down to nothing, you know some people they feel now that uh, they are broke, no money anywhere, all over. It's a lie. Something new is about to start. I say something new is about to start. A new door is about to open for you. If you are saying amen, say better amen. amen. When men have disappointed you, God is about to appoint you. If you are saying amen, say better amen. amen. So when you are down to nothing, God is up to something. When the devil thinks he has crushed you, God is about to start something new for you. So, resurrection is a revelation that a new beginning for you, a new beginning so it means something new is about to start for me. 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 Isaiah 43. Isaiah 43. Verse 18. Remember, ye know the former things, Neither consider the things of old. Behold, I will do a new thing. Now it shall spring forth. Shall you not know it? I will even make a way in the wilderness and rivers in the desert. Is that in your Bible? The resurrection of Jesus is the bat of new things in my life. Is the bat of new things in my life. Is the bat of new things in your life. The resurrection of Jesus is to open new chapters. New chapters of grace. Now that started with the disciples. After Jesus resurrected, <laughs> something new broke out. He has been telling them. He said, when I go, I will send another comforter. And when he shall come, he shall teach you things to come. He shall show you. He shall teach you. He shall show you. Now, after exhortation, this encounter started. The Pentecost experience came. Power broke out. And I want you to hear this. When that power broke out, all their fears were swallowed up. All their challenges ended. Let me tell you the significance of that. The implication is this. Whatever represents an agenda of wickedness, whatever represents an agenda of witchcraft, occultic powers, evil men in your life, Resurrection came to announce their end. Amen. If you are saying amen, say better amen. amen. So whatever look like a manipulation that you have been going through, whatever look like a conspiracy of wickedness that has been programmed against you, hear me? Resurrection power will disgrace all of them. Amen. If you are saying amen, say better amen. That is why Paul said that we may know the hope of his calling and the greatness of his power to us world who believe. So beginning from today, watch out. Every agenda of wickedness in your life will be disappointed. Amen. If you are saying amen, say better amen. <laughs> they took cancer and said, No, it cannot rise. He will never, we will make sure it doesn't rise. 
But when power breaks out, power is going to break out in your life. Amen. If you are saying amen, say it better. Amen. amen. We are the vow that will not cross, you will break the limits. Amen. If you are saying amen, say it better. Amen. amen. Watch out beginning from today. God will set a new record in your life. Amen. Make that amen louder. Paul said that I may know him. Philippians 3 verse 10. That I may know him. Please, let's read that scripture. We're about to rise up to pray now. Philippians 3 10. That I may know him and the power of his resurrection and the fellowship of his suffering be made conformable unto his deaths. That I may know him. That I may know him. And that you need to know this power. You need to know this power. It looks, it looks, it looks unfathomable. It's beyond what we can think with our head. That I may know him. And the power of his resurrection. This one is beyond a human order. It's a divine order. It's divine order. I want you to hear this. Wherever they have placed you in a confined, power will release you. Yeah. If you are saying amen, say better amen. amen. We are going to rise up to our feet. I'm going to give you good six minutes to cry out to God. Lord, let resurrection power show in my life. Whatever you rose for. <laughs> Jekonale Rushataya. Rise up to your feet. Whatever you rose for. You disgrace death. You disgrace enchantment. You disgrace the programming of the enemy. And you make sure the body did not rest on the grave. Lord, display resurrection power in my life. La potanare shada. Establish your counsel over me. Over my destiny. Over my family. Let resurrection power has full effect. In every area of my life, lift up your voice and cry from the depth of your heart. Leroro shikata, lembrikla kutenondra, jekusendi halota. Let resurrection power be displayed over my life, over my destiny, over your purpose and plan. Rendo nando blerish i satata le kutariande le zonombre di eteli angadaro shata le zobrek le keteri katara tuza sheko si zonarete ni dolorin do blerish jegolandre di jeglom rodon ziglen debredia let resurrection power be displayed over every area of my life lamberata leanda leondo bregaduza Shakluta prali and the reketeliada. I rodo dore kutata. Jerosino empraliata. Let resurrection power be displayed over every area of my life, over every area of my family, over every area of my wife, every area of my children, every area of my brothers and sisters, over my parents. Let resurrection power. Be displayed over every area. Oh God, display resurrection power. The same way you said that Jesus will rise on the third day. And power from on high. Power from on high. Power from on high. Descended to the very point. To the very point. And raise him. And raise him. You broke the law of gravity. You suspended the law of gravity. La rusha no traqueta. Jekle pebre izale taria. Le mrendo lo bro shikorande lerete. Father, display resurrection power in my life. Display resurrection power in my life. Display resurrection power in my family. Jerusalem. Embe rota la garaderia jugure bederia lampota ne glero jizo engla baba ba resuzenia baba ba laborodo zugadi baba ba ba ragede brogodo zibali aredada lenzana gaga gaga display resurrection power abort 
every evil cancer display resurrection power in the name of Jesus whatever represents a manipulation an enchantment Lord by resurrection power disgrace the works of the wicked over every area of my life over every area concerning my wife and children my family my brothers my sisters display resurrection power display resurrection power Display resurrection power. Rizona keto keto. Jeko teke teke teria. Lako robo robo soto. Lika kaka reto zazo ze. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Something happened. Scripture said, after resurrection, he appeared unto them 40 days with many infallible proofs. Watch out beginning from today. Write today's date down. No? Between now and the next 40 days, you will be having an encounter of power. You'll be having an encounter with resurrection power. If you are saying amen, say better amen. Whatever look like an embargo over your life, power will scatter it. Resurrection power will disgrace the enemy. What the enemy vowed you will never get. By resurrection power, within these 40 days, let there be a commotion of visitation. Let there be a commotion of favor. Let there be a commotion of promotion. You will not be on the floor anymore. Whatever look like an evil decision over your life, by resurrection power, let that evil decision expire. Say amen like a believer. Whoever vowed a vow over you, the Pharisees and the Sanhedrin, they vowed he will never rise. By resurrection power, I speak with the authority of the blood. I speak with the authority that is in the name of Jesus Christ. You are rising from today. You are coming out of shame. You are rising out of obscurity. You are coming out of where your enemy kept you. If you are saying amen, say better amen. amen. Whatever they are using to monitor you, let their monitoring mirror scatter by resurrection power. Whoever is the evil high priest displaying powers of wickedness against you by resurrection power, let them be smitten. Say amen like a believer. That enemy that is keeping vigil over you, that your story will not change. God of Oyedepo, give them deep sleep. Give them deep sleep. Give them deep sleep. If you are saying amen, say better amen. The very blessing they vowed you will not get. They will be sleeping. The blessing will be taking place. Say amen like a believer. It is done. All eyes closed. Jesus displayed forgiveness by going to the last bus stop. I want you to hear this. You don't need to die when there is hope for you. You have not made it right with God. Jesus is your best bet. The blood is still speaking. Wherever you are, all eyes closed. You want to make it right with Jesus this morning, inside and outside. Put your right hand on your chest and say this prayer after me. 
Lord Jesus, I come unto you today. I know that I'm a sinner. Forgive me. Wash me with your precious blood. I reject sin. I reject Satan. Come into my life. Be my Lord. Be my Savior. In Jesus' name, I pray. If you pray this prayer with me, wherever you are, congratulations. Put your hands together for Jesus. Carry your bag and your Bible and come right now. I want to pray with you. Put those hands together for Jesus as they come right now. Put those hands together for Jesus. God bless you. God bless you. Put those hands together for Jesus. Take that step right now. This is the best decision anybody can make. Come quickly, come quickly. God has disappointed your enemy. Put your hands together for the Lord.